Hey everyone, it's T, and welcome to another episode of Bin or Recommend. If it's something that we like, we give it a recommend, but if it's something that we don't, we chuck it in the bin. For your consideration, and for our second gaming edition, we have Fall Guys. So basically, how Fall Guys works is you can get it on PS4 and Steam, and it's basically a battle royale type game, but fun. <laughs> You're basically put in a round with 60, well, 59 other players. There's a total of 60 in the round and you go through obstacle courses. It's basically kind of like Wipeout or Takeshi's Castle, uh, which kind of Wipeout kind of copied off of, but kind of in the same vein, basically it's an optical course style game and you're on a little game show with your little bean in this little battle royale setting. So things to like, it's really fun. And even though you have so many players, it doesn't feel overly chaotic. Like it feels like a controlled chaos, which is really good, especially considering the amount of players. I also really like the music. The music goes really well. It's really like lively and upbeat. And the characters are so cute. Like the little beans are just adorable. Just like, look at, look at the little bean. Fucking adorable. Can't stand it. It's so freaking cute. And so dislikes. The team games can be not so much fun. I don't mind the team games as much as other people, but I know a lot of people really hate the team games. And at times I can completely understand why people hate them. I'm not crazy about them either, especially if you get on like a bad team. If you get on a good team, fine. But if you're on a bad team, it kind of sucks. And it kind of sucks having to rely on other people in order to win that round. So I can completely understand the thing about hating the team games because sometimes they're not very fun. And especially if you have to depend on other people, like in Tail Tag or any of the hoarding games like the Ball Hoarder and... I think the other one is Egg Sorter. That's not the best. So team games, definitely a huge drawback. The other drawback I would say is the server issues. So the game launched like last weekend and yeah, the, the servers just haven't been super reliable. The game was down for a really long time. I believe Thursday, yeah. So around last Thursday, last Friday, uh, the servers were down for a very, very long time, and there have been a few instances where they've gone down since. So the server issue is definitely a huge drawback. The other thing that may be kind of a drawback is if you're not that great with your spatial awareness, the game might not be as fun for you, but since the rounds are so quick, um, it, it may not pose that big of a problem. There's always another type of game around that you can jump into. I would also say that's a plus, so I'm gonna have to move this there, but the round time and the ease of getting into a game once you lose uh, is also a plus. So do we give it a bin or a recommend? Drum roll please. I would give it a recommend. I really think Fall Guys is a fun game and if they really sort out the server issues as well as the team game thing, either completely get rid of team games or make a separate queue for people who want to do the team games, I would think that the game would be perfect. Uh, but right now, even as is, even with the server issues, I would still give it a recommend. If you have a PS4 with PlayStation Plus, you can get the game for free for if you have it on PC or want it on PC, you do have to pay. I think it's like $20 on Steam. So if the server issues are something that are making you go, eh, I would maybe wait for a sale or for the servers to be more stabilized. But if you can get it for free or through your PlayStation Plus, I would definitely check it out. Well, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for listening, and I'll see you next time. Bye, 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 bye.